Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build this super simple automation that generates text based images with background colors, uh, text size, you know, font colors, all of that stuff that you can choose. Uh, very straightforward without using any kind of paid APIs or anything like that. We're just going to use a very simple API uh, that doesn't require you to create any account or anything and the HTTP request node. And that's all we need actually, even the set field here that you or the set node here that you see is actually not necessary it is more for convenience so let me show you how this works okay let's start by clicking on the set node and here we're going to set um, the different values for our uh, text or for our image that we're going to generate so here we can set the image text we can set the size here the width times uh, the height in pixels here we can set the background color then the text color font family and font size. So let's run this. Let's click on the HTTP request node. And here we get our image generated. I'm gonna click on view and you see we get this image here. So we can, we just chose, you know, the size of the image here, the width and height, the text, the color of the text and the background color. All of that we can choose here when dynamically generating the image. So now let me show you how to build this step-by-step. Step. So let's start by deleting all of this. And then we're gonna go over to the site here, dummyjson.com. At dummyjson.com, you're just gonna click on read docs down here and we will get to this page, which is the documentation, okay? Uh, now this uh, website is actually uh, meant for, originally for developers for testing, when they build web applications for testing their application with dummy data, like uh, dummy users, you know, comments, stuff like that. But they also have this cool endpoint here for generating uh, text-based images. And that's what we're gonna use. And you won't need to create any account or anything like that. You can just start using this directly, immediately. So if you start scrolling around here, you see different examples here on the left side of generating images. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom because we want the most uh, advanced example here because we want as many options as possible. So we're gonna scroll down to this one, I think, uh, generate image with, or yeah. So let's take this one here. This is the last one here. And if we look at this URL here, it's, you have the, the, the option here to set the size of the image, then the, uh, the background color, as hexadecimal and then the font, font font color text color and after that we have some query parameters here for setting the text as well as the font size so let's copy this and go back to na10 here we're going to start with our trigger let's zoom in a little bit and after the trigger we're gonna create search for http create a http request node then we're gonna paste in that URL we just copied, paste it in here, remove the quotes, one at the end and one at the start there. And we don't need to do anything else. Now we can just test this, click on test step, and it now generates an image. And you see, we get this image, hello, Peter. So you see that the hello, Peter part is set here by this query parameter here. Let's see if I can zoom in. So this part here, hello, Peter. Let's open this up a little bit. So this part here, hello, Peter, is this text query parameter and the font size is defined here. And here we have the text color, this segment here, and then we have the background color and here is the size. So to make this a little bit more convenient, I'm gonna use a set node, but first let's try to extract the query parameters here in the HTTP request node. Now the HTTP request node here allows you to set the query parameters down here and then they will be automatically added to the final URL when sending the request so you don't have to add them in everything in here. So to do that, let's click on add options or no, it's actually this one, send query parameters. Let's enable this and here we can set the query parameters. So the first one here you see is, if you click on expression here, you see the first one is text and the other one is font size. So that's the two query parameters we have. Now for font size, make sure that you have the capitalization right. So font with small letters and then size starts with a capital letter. So for the first one, which is text, we're gonna 
type in text here and then here you can set the value this yes this is a uh, text that's what I'm gonna type here testing purposes so that's the first parameter now let's add the other one the second one is gonna be font size make sure to capitalize the s in size and let's try with uh, 32 as a value here and now we can go back here and remove the query parameters from this URL because they will be added automatically. So let's remove all of this up until uh, this question mark here and remove that question mark as well. Okay, now let's test this step and we should get a similar image but with this text and you see also that the text size is now larger because I set the font size to 32 and it was uh, I think was 16 before but it was definitely smaller okay now there's another query parameter which you want to add or actually there's two so if you go back to API if you look at the other example here you see we got the font family here and you can choose any of all of these fonts here or font families so you got Ubuntu Lobster Pacifico Pacifico is really cool it's what gives you this one uh, and above you also have the image type you can also set the image type as a query parameter so you see type here webp so you, have, you can choose between png jpeg or webp so let's try to remember those two which is type and font family and we're going to add those let's go back here to na10 click on add parameter and here we're going to add type and we're going to set that as PNG. Then we're going to add another parameter. I'm going to call this, uh, what was it? Was it font? Was font family? So font family. Make sure to capitalize the F. And I want to set this to Pacifico. Pa Pacifico. Like so. Okay, now let's test the step. See what we get here. And you see the font, uh, the font change now, the style of the font. Uh, and, and it's also a PNG now, which you can't see visually, but it's uh, stored as a PNG. Okay. Uh, now we've actually set all the different options here, query parameters. To make it even more convenient to use this, I'm gonna go out of here and zoom out a little bit. And in between here, let's add a set node. And we're going to go back to our HTTP request. Let's move this up here. Let's click on this. And now we want to extract the segment here for the uh, font color. Or text color and then the background color and the uh, size of the image we want to be setting all of these in the set node so let's uh, let's go back to the set node and here we're going to add three fields the first one i'm going to call let's we can call this whatever we want because this is not the query parameters uh let's call this what is it uh, size I'm just gonna call this size and let's set this to something like 200 or 220 times uh, 180 maybe and let's add another field and it's gonna be background color so I'm gonna call it BG color I'm gonna set this to just some hexadecimal value uh, needs to be six characters so let's remove one character and we should now get no that's actually five so let's add something and then we're gonna set the text color i'm gonna call this text color and set this to let's try with white which is six f's all right and now let's go back today's fee request node and now we're gonna replace these segments with the variables from our set node so let's execute the set node first so we get them here and we're gonna start by replacing the first part 
which is the size delete that and drag the size variable here and put it in between there so now it will be replaced by the size here the second one is the uh, background color delete that and drag in the background color in between those slashes and you can see now here at the right side that the hexadecimal for the background color is set there and then we remove this last part which is for the text color and drag in the text color over there and now we get the full string here with the size background color and text color and they are all set in the set node now we would also like to set these values as well in the set node so that uh, we don't have to go between the set node and the HTTP request node. So let's move these values there as well. So let's first uh, start by changing these values to uh, the variables that we're going to set in the set node. So I'm going to call each variable the same name that they are called here. So let's do a uh, double curly brackets JSON. And then I'm going to call this text. Let's copy this. Paste it in here. Change text here to font size. Copy this in here. Or oh, no, the type is... Oh, yeah, yeah. It should also be... Everything should be set there. So let's call call this type and the font family it should be uh, font family like that so now all of these will be retrieved from the set node all of these values okay let's go back to the set node and make sure to set all of these uh set all of these query parameters as variables let's see i'm gonna just remind them remind myself of them so there was uh, uh text font size type and font family okay let's go back to the set node so we have text font size and font family i'll call this text font size font family and the type as well it's the image type i'm going to set this to png the font family let's set this to pacifico i like that one it looks cool the font size let's try something big let's try 42 this time and the text uh let's set this to uh, some text this is some text and now we've set everything so let's let's try this now click out click on test workflow okay we got an error let's open this up unknown image type so why is that text color it should not be set there let's see here font family type png png should work so why doesn't it work what's wrong here okay um text okay so th these are interpreted <laughs> incorrectly uh you have to click on expression i think yeah so we have to click on expression here for these to be interpreted as variables otherwise they would just be interpreted as strings static strings so let's click on expression there as well and now click on test step and it should work now click on view and you see we get the image but the font size is so large that it's outside of the image because the image is rather small 
if we go back to the set field, let's try and increase the size of the image here. So it accommodates the whole text. Let's set this to 500 instead. And uh, now let's run this again. And let's see here. Yeah. And now we have this nice image with a black background, a white text, and uh, it's specific as well. So this is how you can uh, generate uh, text-based images uh, just using the HTTP request node. Uh, now you can use this, for example, may for making carousels in LinkedIn. If you've seen those text-based LinkedIn carousels a lot of people use, or some other things in your for con content creation. I don't know, you might be better than me with coming up with use cases, but yeah, this is a super simple way to generate text-based images using just the HTTP request. So I hope you find this video valuable. If you did, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, take care.